students, myself Manatoj De, your English helpline on the go. Today, I shall discuss a lesson from Footprints Without Feet, which is taught in CBSE curriculum as supplementary reader of Standard 10. The lesson under discussion is A Triumph of Surgery by James Harriot. Dear students, if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel so far, kindly subscribe to it and press the bell icon for notification of new videos. Anyway, before we begin, let me throw some light on the biography of the author which will be followed by the theme of the story, story sequence and recapitulation. So let's begin. James Harriot was the pen name of a British veterinary surgeon, James Alfred Elf White. His writings are largely autobiographical and deals with rural life, which is very close to nature. His prominent works include All Creatures, Great and Small, All Things Bright and Beautiful, All the Things, All Things Wise and Wonderful, The Lord. God made them all and every living thing. Many of his works were international bestsellers and were adapted for film and television. Now let's switch on to the discussion of the theme. The story describes the incidents where the narrator, a veterinary surgeon, saves the life of a lethargic dog, Tricky, by hospitalizing him. He was hospitalized as he was being overfed by his wealthy owner, Mrs. Pumphrey. The story shows the effect of dieting on an overfed dog. The surgeon cures the dog without administering him any medicine. Now, characters in the story. James Harriot, he is a veterinary surgeon who being a smart doctor, cures the dog without administering him any medicine. Mrs. Pumphrey, she is a wealthy, emotional woman who is very much attached to her dog, Tricky. Next, Tricky, a lethargic fat dog who loves food and is very much attached to his owner. Dear students, now let's move on to the story sequence. The narrator, Mr. Harriet, stops his car as he is shocked to see Tricky who looks like a bloated sausage. He has become very fat, his eyes are red and watery. Mrs. Pamprey, Tricky's owner, tells him that she feeds Tricky with malt, cod liver oil and a bowl of horlicks at night in addition to regular meals. Then the narrator asks her if she had cut down on his sweets as recommended by him earlier. Mrs. Pumphrey says that she is unable to refuse him cakes and chocolates as those were his favorite things. Mr. Harriet advised her to immediately stop giving him extra snacks and between meals. He also wanted her to make him exercise daily along with a strict diet in order to improve his health. Mrs. Pamphrey called Dr. Harriet one day as Tricky had bouts of vomiting. He suggested to Mrs. Pamphrey to hospitalize him for a fortnight for observation so that the proper treatment can follow. He carried the dog wrapped in a blanket to his car. Tricky left for the hospital leaving his caretaker behind in tears. His stuff include that things like his day bed, his night bed, favorite cushions, toys, rubber rings, breakfast bowl, lunch bowl and the snack bowl. The narrator made the bed for Tricky in a warm box along with the other dogs. For two days the narrator kept him just on water and nothing else. After two days, he started responding a bit. On the following day, he whimpered, trotted and joined the hound in the garden. Later on the third day, he ran with enthusiasm when the food was served. 
he also gulped down the extra food that was put out for him. His recovery was speeding up. He did not require any medicine and played with other dogs, bump into each other, walk over each other and squash each other. Mrs. Pomfrey used to call more than 12 times a day to inquire about Tricky. She started sending two dozen eggs every day for him, but Mr. Harriet and his partners would have two eggs each for breakfast. To improve the quality of blood, Mrs. Pompre started sending in bottles of wine. Then it became Mr. Harriet's habit to have two glasses of wine before lunch. Mr. Harriet would start his day with extra eggs, then a few glasses of wine in the afternoon and brandy in the evening. Mr. Harriet was really tempted to keep him as a permanent guest at the surgery because of all the food stuff that Mrs. Pomfrey sent for Tricky. After two weeks, James called up Mrs. Pomfrey to inform that Tricky was fit and could go home. Mrs. Pomfrey reached the surgery within half an hour. As James carried Tricky out to his mistress, he jumped off his arms and landed in his mistress's lap. He licked her face and wagged his tail. tail. Uh, he licked her face and walked his tail. The chauffeur and Dr. Harriet settled the dog stuff in the car, while Mrs. Pomfrey thanked the surgeon for the triumph of surgery. Dear students, now let's move on to recapitulation. Dr. Harriet stops his car when he sees the poor health of Mrs. Pomfrey's dog, Tricky. He advised Mrs. Pomfrey to put Tricky on a strict diet and exercise daily. Mrs. Pomfrey did not control Tricky's diet and he fell sick. She calls Harriet when Tricky started vomiting one day. Harriet decides to hospitalize Tricky for a fortnight to treat him. Tricky was administered only water for the first two days. He was given diet when he showed improvements. Mrs. Pomfrey started sending eggs, wine and brandy for Tricky to improve his blood and his health. Mr. Harriet was really tempted to keep Tricky as a permanent guest at the surgery because he was having all the food stuff that Mr. Mrs. Pomfrey sent for Tricky. After two weeks, James Harriet calls Mrs. Pomfrey to come and collect Tricky as he has become physically fit and fine. All about this lesson at Triumph of Surgery by James Harriet. Hope you understood the explanation. Kindly give your feedback in the comment section and do subscribe to my channel, dear students. Thank you so much for watching. Till I come with the next video. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you.